The Toyota Avalon has been accused by some as stepping into Buick's old shoes. That is, catering to the crowd, shopping for their final car. But Toyota's finally given the Avalon some ambition. It's now its flagship. But are interesting looks and new tech enough to fend off the competition, such as the Chevrolet Impala and the Kia Cadenza? Hi, I'm Joel Fetter with The Car Connection, and we'll tell you in our latest video road test of the 2014 Toyota Avalon. I can't believe we're gonna talk about the exterior design of a Toyota Avalon. But that's how dramatically Toyota's evolved the look of this car. It lures you in with a flowing roofline and a punch at the rear fenders. The interior of the Avalon wants to get noticed. Just check out this bank of flush-mounted, touch-sensitive controls. Look at the materials closely and they're superb, with matching grains and finishes. Overall, this is the swankiest Avalon ever. Spending time in the Avalon won't be a chore as it's extremely roomy. The seats are comfortable, though these front seats could use a little more lateral support. These back seats, they don't have the support issue. In fact, they're among the comfiest we've ever experienced in a large sedan. Trunk space is generous at 16 cubic feet on standard models. Opt for the hybrid model and the battery cuts into that slightly, taking it down to 14 cubic feet, but still not bad. Under the hood of the Avalon, you'll find either our tester's 3.5 liter V6, rated 268 horsepower and 248 pound-feet of torque, or Toyota's hybrid synergy drive with a four-cylinder gasoline engine, nickel metal hydride batteries, and two electric motors, netting about 200 horsepower. No matter which powertrain you choose, power is sent to the front wheels as no all-wheel drive is available. Fuel economy isn't bad with a 31 mile per gallon highway rating on the non-hybrid model, but frankly, it's the hybrid model that will grab your attention with a realistic rating of 40 miles per gallon combined. Behind the wheel of the Avalon is a shocking experience because it's become a quick and responsive car. It's far more composed and refined than before, and it's not sporty, but it's far more capable than any Avalon we've ever driven. Starting from around 31,000, the Avalon comes pretty nicely equipped with leather trim seats, a smart key system, and a backup camera. Load it up like our limited test model and you'll be looking at about $42,000 with everything from radar adaptive cruise control and wireless phone charging capability to a 7 inch touchscreen infotainment system with navigation and heated and cooled seats. So what's the bottom line with the 2014 Toyota Avalon? It's far more youthful than it used to be with a responsive feel and excellent interior to go along with the 40 mile per gallon hybrid version. Be sure to read more on the car connection and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. I'm Joel Fetter. Thanks for watching.